have to. Previously on Nino Kuni 2. We are finally able to remind yeah! President Zip of the kind of person he really is, and not a moment too soon. Bastion, Broadleaf's kingmaker, had resumed his rampage and threatened the fission reactor Zip was working on. With his help and Lofty's reveal of his true powers, we take down Bastion and rescue Broadleaf from destruction. After the signing of the treaty between Broadleaf and Evermore, Zip visits us with a gift which could certainly help with the final signatory on our list, Ding Dong Dell. Alright, so welcome back to Nino Kuni 2. Um, so before uh, we head on over to whatever Leander has to say, because the game said you won't be able to play freely for a while after we, like, go for his quest. So, um... What I want to do right now is to start re-exploring our old areas, just just the old areas, and possibly get more uh, citizens. Cause I wanna, I want level three. I want level three uh, kingdom already. I think that's possible by now. Wait, we already did that. It's this one. This one's new-ish. So yeah, we're gonna be doing some side content for a bit. This fight is level 11, and I like this one. I don't think I've seen, I, I've shown this yet, but this this one is just like a tower defense. Like you need to dis def defend your camps. Um, level 11, right? Inspect forces. Yeah, they're only level eight and level five. So I think the more you do this, the higher level it becomes. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to train my lower level units, I guess. Also, we have we have. Guards. <laughs> oh, this unit's presence on the field reduces damage from siege towers and cannons. Okay, so that's that's the use of the defense team, I guess. Um, this unit stays rooted on the spot, enjoying a defense boost. So I, I don't want to use that m so much. We have too many archers, but, in, but I'm kind of happy about Orion's belters because they build walls. But I want something else that... You know, has more utility, I guess you could say. Um, this one has a stun. This one, okay, no, I want... Alright, I want this team to get better because it has a stun. For the archers, I think the Sisters of No Mercy is good because they reduce damage inflicted, like weakens the weapons of the enemy unit directly ahead. Which is good, especially when they're the ones getting slapped. For spear swords, roar that fires up your troops, boosting your attack power, or bombs. Either of this is fine, but I want to diversify, so let's go with attack power. Spears, we only have one spear team, so you know <laughs> we kind of have no choice for that. So I guess we can train a secondary. Secondary hammer team constructs a large cannon. I'm not really that interested in cannons. Um, what what is your skill? We can see armor. Okay, no no, you're fine. We we can keep we can keep leveling up, young main, and this should be good actually. I haven't really been thinking about what my primary troops are. I've just been looking at levels. But I think from now on, I'm gonna start prioritizing the troops I want to level up so I can build a strategy around them. Good luck, troops! And I think this is this is a good set of units. I, I like their skills. The only alternative I'm think I'm seeing is uh, the the bomb because the bombs really do clear out a lot of enemies. Hiya! Oops, swords. All right, this should be easy. We we kind of out level them even though these are the weaker units. These guys don't have any affinities, so we just whack them. Oh, hello. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're gonna start closing in. Actually, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna let these guys... Yeah, and then your troops will actually engage. I think these are Evermore's regular troops. I think that's what it's, they represent. But they don't... They don't resurrect. So if you... What is this? Oh. 
Might gauge your field a little, okay. So if you if you were kind of under leveled for this fight. Alright. Um you could you could theoretically just stay here and uh wait for the troops to get into range so that you're you have, you know, archer support. Actually you don't even need to bring archers for this, but I wanted to train a few boys, a few units, so whatever. And I actually like this because you know, when you when you run a kingdom, it's not all attack. You also need to go into the defense. You're a new kingdom. People will want you out of your neighborhood. I mean, your kingdom. So yeah, let's just clean up. Yeah. Evan, we did it! Now. Yeah. We haven't lost a single unit. Eight seconds, more enemies in eight seconds, okay. So yeah, it's basically this. It's it's literally defend your base camp. The last people who didn't take the great Wamandea seriously. <gasps> Something bad probably happened. Come on. Kill him. Alright, just so that the swords aren't particularly exposed. How? <laughs> I was about to ask, how How are wolves spears? Then I guess if you have spiky hair like that, you know. So yeah, the, if you attack a flank, this is what tends to happen. Your, your regular units kind of have to hold on by themselves. Please don't whack my, my buildings. Alright. And they, they they can't defend anything. I mean, I these guys will be able to kill something eventually. I think. Let's see if they do. Oh yeah, one of them died. <laughs> so they do something, but it, it's not that substantial. And then we're gonna have more uh, backstabbers over here. So since we already got rid of the main forward force, these flanking maneuvers really won't do anything to us. I'm really happy actually about this. They, they put a lot of thought into this. When some, uh, I already said this, but when some other games thinks this is just a gimmick. But this is actually kind of well thought out. Every one of these, uh, these um, scenarios has actually a, a premise. How the enemy is going to attack. If they're going to ambush you, if you have to chase them down. So yeah. It, and you can actually repeat some of them in hard mode. So if you just want to play them for playing them and you're, you're, you're kind of a bit of a high level already, you can just switch to hard mode. Are you all dead? Oh yeah, next wave. Time for a combined Animal Kingdom cat. Come on, Wyverns. Kree Kree, give us meat. Fresh, delicious meat. You can always yeah. attack this guy, you know. <sighs> okay. Yeah, see? Um, left side first, left side first. Because this one, this is the one I already got battered earlier. Come on, whack him! What are my troops doing? No, we're gonna lose the command post. No! What are my- Oh, my troops got stuck behind the- The barracks. Fuck. Is that it? No, no, there's more people on the other side. So yeah, they, I mean... It's not so deep that right. you, you can like put two units here and put two units yeah. there, but... Uh, they did what they could, because if you make it outright tactical battle, you're- it's gonna be too complicated for the majority of the people. If you make it like a sui do sui do sui coden system, you're you're gonna alienate a lot of people who might want to try this out but don't want the the hard version of it. 
Because this is a very, very, like, easy mode version of the Sui Kodan system, I, I feel. And that's fine, you know. Not everyone wants to play an RTS in their RPG. I mean, I'm not sure if you can call this an RTS. It's literally just one giant chunk of units that you rotate, but... Close enough, I suppose. Oh, crap! More guys here. And are we done? <laughs> Can we check over here if there are any more? I don't think so. Okay. This better be the last one. Yep. Can't see no more than swabs, Evan. Seems you have fought them back. Uh huh. Not bad. Not bad at all. <sighs> Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. I don't think any of my troops leveled, but it's okay. That was only a level 11 fight. So there's probably going to be a third one and a fourth one of that. that. That one I already finished, but I can do hard mode. Not really interested in right now. So yeah. I'll be clearing the skies. Like, we are... I am going to be starting all the way at the starting area back in the rolling hills. And then I'm gonna track this entire area all up the way up here and then down. Basically, the journey we had to get here, I'm gonna be rescanning with the zeppelin. And I'll see you guys when I find something interesting. Whoops. There is a level 70 windworm up here. Excuse me, let me. Oh, <laughs> bottle of fresh milk. Worth it. It was worth it. Level 47 Hedgelo Hedgehound, I think? Hedgelord? Hedgehound. And what's up here? Actually, I just wanted to start here, but there's actually far more interesting things over in the side. I just wanted to show you guys, like, so that you have an idea of what stuff I'm looking- what kind of stuff I'm looking for. Careful, everyone! Careful, everyone. Alright, also, the, the, the guys up here are- on my level, so might also become good for training, more or less. Whoosh. Oh no, there's a uh, there's a tainted up here. I I didn't notice this the first time I passed by. Oh no, the clanger is super fast. So what's the level? What's your level? Thirty five. I think we can take him. We can take that guy, but. Not super interested in it right now. What I really am interested in right now, though, is this thing. There's a shrine up here. Also, when you go over here, another shrine there. And another shrine here. So, also, ooh, is that a save point? Hang on. Excuse me. Is it? Is it a trip door? I think it is. Cradle of creation trip door? Eh? <laughs> also, what's this? There's there, there's something over here. Let me land here. I think we can, but hey. Yeah, it's it's considered Ding Dong Dell territory, so we can't. Ah, all right. All right. And since I've already researched spirit talking, if there's any more spirits in here, um, basically I think I have more capability now to finish off the areas like completely off content instead of hashtag come back later. Because <laughs> I really don't like doing that. I like going into an area, finishing it off and just moving on. Um, I'll show this fight, but it's a, it's from enemies that we, we've we already experienced, basically. But let's see if the levels will be, like, too much for us. I think 48 is doable. We did fight a Kingmaker that was 51, so... I don't think it should be too much of a problem. I, th I think... Nature... I think... Skeleplasms are nature? I don't know. Here goes nothing. 
But really, all that's important to me is slime. What is that? Oh no, they're also considered slime. Well, they are plasms. I should have known. Ow! The game really punishes you for doing those those big attacks, which it, it kind of should. Because, you know, they are big attacks. If they go unpunished, then what's the downside, right? But... Shows what you got. Oh, I'm gonna get hit! <laughs> Actually, this one... Say goodnight. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to try this. <laughs> Bracken is actually the resident gunslinger if you wanted a gunslinger class. Because she can buff her own uh, range attacks. Bonk. Oh shit, also she has fireball, so... Come on, come back here. An accursed Gabriel's gavel. Damn. That should be good for you. Anyway, um, that's the fight showcase, I guess. See you guys if there's anything interesting in here. Alright, so this would have this would be the third spirit I've found, but I haven't talked to the first two because I didn't have spirit talking. You didn't have to be that scary about it. Vanquish certain monsters and you may acquire pieces of equipment upon which a curse has been placed. Your first instinct may be to discard such items, but you must not make the mistake of being so hasty. Curses may be removed through a process of purification. It is a worthwhile procedure, to be sure, for if an item has room to take on board a curse, it has room to be imbued with a skill also. As to the details of how the process may be performed, that would be a question better asked to another. I am in the business of making curses, not removing them. Oh, so I, I guess they weren't anything special. I guess they were just... um. Tips and hints, I guess. Anyway, I'll keep I'll keep exploring this and I'll move on to the other shrines around the area. See if there's anything in them. Hmm. What are those? <laughs> what are those things again? They must be. They they must be wildness, right? I'm pretty sure there's wi they're, they're wildness. So, and just in case, put some here. And just in case, also, you're probably fire? I Maybe? I don't know. Are we actually going to fight this guy? Level 55 windworm! <laughs> Let's go! Okay. We can spin. I'm not sure if we're supposed to fight this guy. Pretty sure we can. I mean... I am too... I'm too under him. He can't hit me like that. Whoops! <laughs> Almost not quite. Um, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Not sure if it's worth it, but I, I want to take the challenge on. I mean... <laughs> if you didn't miss, I mean, there, there must be something in that treasure chest, right? Use it quick. Oh, I was HP. Oh, ups, ups. All right, all right. I think we can buff while he's doing that. Yeah, it's, it's not that threatening. And that gives us a little more damage. Imagine me saying it's not that threatening. 
I think we can do this though, if I play it right. Question is, am I gonna play it right? Probably not, honestly. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. We we take too much damage. It's it's doable, but I'm not Let's in the mindset to do it right now. Can we sneak around him? That's my next question. Can I sneak around him? I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> Evan's too scared to move from his spot. Yeah, you can. Okay. Elite Warriors Ring. Come on. That better be, don't look over here. That better be worth it. I mean, I hope it's worth it. I'll come back for you in a revenge match at some point. Oh, wait. It, it, it's red on the map, so it's considered a major enemy, but it's not tainted. Okay, okay. I'll try that out some other time, I guess. And there's the tainted one. Um, and it's hiding a Higgledy stone. It's up. Pork chopper, I think. Level 50. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. We can't even do a level 55 normal enemy. What about a level 58 Borzerger? All right, what was up here? And finally get this chest. Holy crap. Swift Hag's Tooth. I know I'm kind of doing it out of order. I said I'd do the first areas first. But uh, the, the dragon thing kind of... I mean, the spirit thing kind of reminded me of this area. So I wanted to get the one off island out of the way instead. Uh, I think that's it. I, I got a wand for it. Anything else up here? I don't think so. Oh, well, I can go around here. But for what exactly? Oh, yeah, the chest here. Saw that. Three pieces of horse pipe coral. Was it that rare to hide it behind the freaking Zeppelin? I don't know, but... Oh, no, no, come on. Piece of horse pipe coral. I think, I think the reason why there's a, a a collection spot down there is because horse pipe coral is maybe rare. I don't know. Anything over here? Looks like it's just like a rock, so it's probably nothing. All right, let's t take a look in here. Damp shoe cave. Let's go. Is this a? There's a giant crystal here, but is this a dreamer's door area? Probably not. There's already another dreamer's door area in the other side, so... Ah, ha, ha. There we go. <laughs> no flying, no flying, please. This is a no-fly zone. And there's another spirit here. The kingdom of my birth was situated in what is now known as Lysippus' Labyrinth. It was destroyed three centuries ago when an underwater volcano erupted. It was truly devastating. Not even a king's cradle survived. Indeed, I believe all that remains of my kingdom now is the corpse of our kingmaker. Alright, so this, this Higgledy Stone is looking for something from the sea. Let's try coral. I mean... <laughs> Try offering call, call Hugh Bloom. Well done, Traveler. This is what I mean. This is the greatest offering that I have ever seen. The higgledy hid inside. The sun comes flying out. Trundle the Tropical has decided to join you in your adventure. All right. Also, this cave is kind of a troll. The reason why my HP is so low is because there's actually a giant snake in the previous room that's going to ambush you. It's level 53. It's kind of doable, um, more doable than the Wyvern at least, but um, I'm actually running out of healing items, so I'm kind of can't 
I can't deal with it. Right? Like if you walk to the center of that this room, you get bonked <laughs> by the giant snake guy. All right, it's official. Every every single cave is. You need to be ready, especially on hard mode. Every single cave has one of these, and I'm not equipped right now, at least, to deal with them. Ah, uh, which is kind of annoying. I came out here to finish caves, not see stuff I can't do yet. I'm pretty sure if I was playing a normal, we could totally just do that guy right now. But I I can't. I'm on the hardest difficulty. One hit deals more than half my HP. Like, it's not practical. Anyway, this is the end of the cave, so... What's this? Three little horn shells. Alright, so I finally have a four-leaf clover for this guy. So that's probably one more uh, shipbuilder, not that I need more, but at least I can start researching on that thing. Also, with regards to the um, to the three caves oh. I saw in the initial area, I'm going to be going through them, but if I'm not sure if I'm able to finish any of them. Because if they keep hiding stuff like um, the giant wyvern dragon thing, might not be able to do them. And there I was thought done for for a minute. Well, you're very lucky we came along when we did. Now I think it's time for you to go home to Capstan, don't you? Ah, uh, you're probably not wrong there. And listen, I'm sorry for all that bother I caused you. I'll make sure you get summit for your trouble, though. Come and see me when you're next in Capstan, all right? Why don't you just go straight to my kingdom? Holy crap. <laughs> mm. I do hope Tiller makes it in one yeah, piece. Man. He'll be alright, man. That sort of way give him put the right old spring in his step. We'll find him back in Capstan soon enough. And there he'll be, ward be a reward waiting for us when we do. By the sound of it, tidy! Alright, so we're in Capstan. Let's go talk to this guy so he can finally join us. Hey, oh. Hey, up, Evan. It's right as good to see ya. Now, I said I were gonna give you some to make up for earlier the, the bother I caused, didn't I? Well, I went to have a word with Mr. Wright. But we couldn't come up with what you might need. I mean, you've already got a ship. Well, here's an idea for you. Instead of giving me something, why don't you come and live in my kingdom? We're always looking for new people to come and help us. Evan was a wonderful place, and we could really do with a talented shipwright like you. Plus, you've always wanted to try living somewhere else, haven't you? I think that would be the perfect solution for everyone. Hmm. Up sticks and move your way. Well, it's a big step, but I go on then. I should make up for you saving me skin and then some. Mm. That's wonderful. Thank you, Tiller. That's a lot of fish. Flexible, frilly, and that eel thing. Do we have more uh, quests here? There is one. Let's go get it while we're here anyway. I mean, might as well. You know, I felt so sorry for you after the coup and everything. I mean, it must have been awful. Yeah. Who are you again? <laughs> but now I hear that you've set up a whole new kingdom. I'm ever so happy for you. I wish you every success, I really Thank do. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome to come and live there if you like. Hmm, you know I've really come to like life here in Capstan upon Hull. Oh, I see. Though there is one thing that's not ideal. People around here, they don't seem to be very interested in shoes. They all seem to prefer sandals, actually, and it's hard to make a living repairing those. Hey. Now, if your kingdom was the kind of place where I could really put my cobbling talents to use, then I'd probably move there without a second thought. Maybe if you develop 25 or more types of different armor and accessories, I might be able to convince that your kingdom was a place for me. How many have I done? Um, are, are we done? Mm. I don't think so. Okay, that's pretty arbitrary, but that's also easy enough to do. Um, I'm gonna go do that right now, and let's go back for him in a bit. I'll just probably just craft some of the cheap stuff, I suppose. Alright, I that, that was a waste of money and materials, my good sir. Even if I did do the cheap ones, Whoa. that was so much materials and money. Do you know what? Do you know what I think I am? I hope my skills mm. will prove useful to you. I'm sure they will. I'm looking forward to seeing what you make for us. What do you even have? Oh, help boost work at the outfitters, huh? Okay, that should be. 
That should be good. Also, I think I know what Pontus wants. Um, I think you need to buy a fish and then just give it to him. I don't think you actually have to catch it. I think it's already in in the store over here. What? Musical girl? Oh, okay, I thought you were like female Kamen Rider. I still see his face very clearly whenever I close my eyes, but his name is find it impossible to recall. Paul's business. Yes, that was in the middle somewhere, but the rest escapes me. I'm really intrigued about that musician everyone's talking about. Anyway, the, the fish this guy's looking for is actually a blimp fish. It's the 1000 gilder fish in the store. Find a venomous, venomous fish. Poisonous if improperly prepared. All right. You are. I brought you a blimp fish. It, I'm reasonably sure it's venomous. Sure. Oh, very well done indeed. Yes, the blimp fish is a curious and dangerous creature. The more it is angered, the larger it becomes. Like a puffer oh, fish. Yeah. Now for challenge number two. Bring me a piece of poisonous coral. Flip it, Ackman. You are making us work by your... Mm. Poisonous coral, hmm. Have we seen like that somewhere, I wonder? Have we? Do we have a poisonous coral? Yeah, profoundly poisonous. Hello. You wanted some poisonous coral, correct? What about this? It's a piece of pincushion coral. Yeah. Indeed so, you continue to impress me. Pincushion corals, garish colors have made it a prized species among coral collectors. Despite its poisonous spines. Hmm. Coral correctors. I've heard everything now, man. Hey. Very well, it's time for your final challenge. Bring me a piece of the seaweed that is so silky one might use it as a scarf. Really? Silky seaweed? This is intriguing. The ocean's full of surprises, isn't it? <laughs> well, all that time spent sailing, I should have it. You really do know an awful lot, don't you? A brain like yours would be an asset to my any kingdom. Silky, uh, sea silk. <laughs> yeah, it's some sea silk. Silky and scarf like, just as you sh said. Yeah. Indeed, it is. Most impressive. Sea silk is a beautiful sight, as well as a highly vers versatile ingredient prized by cooks the world over. And with that, you have successfully completed all my challenges, which can only mean that you are almost as a great lover of the ocean as I am. You will make a perfect assistant. I am certain that we'll conduct some highly thought-provoking research together. About this research, how would you feel about coming to do it in my kingdom? <laughs> An intriguing proposition. Yes, friend, you're almost as much as a genius as I. I had only just been thinking that I would deathly love to examine the oceans of a foreign land. Actually, I have fields, but I guess there's an ocean right next to me. It will not be long before I have researched all the world's aquatic life forms. Of that, I am certain. Mm. I'm honest, I prefer eating fish to researching them, but we won't tell him that. <laughs> there is no reason you can't do both, man. Why not conduct some research into which fish is the tastiest? Anyway, it looks like we've got ourselves a new citizen. Yay. Uh. Anything else? Yeah, oh god, we even have new side quests here, so there's probably also more in Gold Paul. If you notice, I'm just clearing out the quests I keep saying for later. We can fly here now, we can fly to the drylands. And, um, I don't know where to get some hydropolitans to, I guess we need a cookbook for that. Um, and six fangfish, but this isn't really a priority because it doesn't have a citizen attached to it. There's a bunch of this that I will probably do off camera because, you know, except for these, you know, I don't really know where to find them. But I guess we could do the abnormal now. I don't know. All right, let's check if any of the village Hello. people, village people, uh, have, like, if their quests give us anything interesting. How are things, Fido? Oh, hi. Excellent, your majesty. Newbie and I are both working harder than ever. Neither of us wants to be outdone by the other. But newbie is in the weaponsmith and you're in the armory. I've always just been receiving more and more orders of late. Chingis was so pleased with the improved armor I made for his unit that he has been telling his colleagues all about me. 
In fact, just this morning, Minty asked if I might be able to turn her regular clothes into a suit of armor without adding any weight, and while still allowing for a full range of movement. That's pretty hard. I agreed to help her, but this is no simple request. I am no tailor after all. I have little experience with clothes, and my attempt so far has been wholly unsuccessful. If only I had an example of the kind of thing Minty was looking for, one that I could analyze and hopefully emulate. Mm. I'm sure I could bring you something like that if you like, Fido. That would be of great help, your majesty. A great help indeed. If you could bring me a chieftain's cloak of grade 6 or higher, I would be in your debt. A chieftain's cloak, you say? Alright, I'll see what I can do. Ice prism. I mean... Alright. I don't have it, right? Do I... Can I make it? I mean, I could. Grade 6? Yeah, this is grade 6, right? So I'll just do this. I I, I don't I don't want to wear this either cuz um it's not it's not stronger than what I have. All right. Yeah, here we go. Thank I mean Thank you very much. You're the you're the one who probably crafted this, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't mention it, Fido. It means a lot to hear you such a thing, sire. I shall continue to serve you and your subjects as best I can. Uh -huh. Oh, but before you do, there is one more item I would like you to find for me, if you do not mind, that is. Um, of course I don't mind at all. What is it that you're looking for? A pair of boots, but no ordinary boots, you understand. Good quality boots that Minty can wear with her new armor. If you can bring me some brutes boots of grade 6 or higher. Okay, you're, you're just making me do your job now. Brutes boots of grade 6 or higher. Actually... No, 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 what I'm wearing is still stronger. So that's grade six. Okay. Actually, um, roguish boots? What, what? Oh, I can't, I don't have any stylish string. That's unfortunate. This, this might be stronger if I had some stylish string. I'm just not sure where to get that. Anyway, hello. Yes. Oh, I already had them. Damn. Well, let's just give him the one I crafted. Yes. Yes, these are exactly what I was looking for. Thank you, King Evan. I truly appreciate all your efforts. With this as a reference, I should be able to produce the perfect boots to accompany Minty's new armor. Now let me see. Hey! So, did Minty like her new boots and armor? Yeah. She did. She was absolutely delighted. In fact, she said it was her best she'd had ever worn. I'm almost certain that I even saw her smile a little. Gosh. Minty doesn't smile. That's a lie. That's quite an achievement! <laughs> I'm glad Minty is happy, of course, but even more importantly, I have now developed armor and boots that will hopefully hopefully prove useful to a great number of our kingdom's inhabitants. And in doing so, I have moved one step closer to achieving my dream. Mm -hmm. And what's that? Yeah. To create the legendary armor. Oh, see? See? Doing these things actually are worth it, because, you know, suddenly we get legendary armor vibes. The armor about which I heard so many stories when I was growing up in Goldpaw. I have discussed this with Nubi, but he is equally determined to want to create the legendary weapon. Oh! We have also vowed that if we ever do succeed in creating these legendary items, we will present them to you, your majesty. You have done so much to support us, after all. Hmm. Well, that would be awfully kind of you, but please don't put yourselves out. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know, won't you? <laughs> arf, 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 arf. <laughs> we most certainly will, your majesty. That's minus one. And then let's go to newbie. Hello. How's everything going, newbie? Hello there. Hello, your majesty. Okay, I think this is going to be the same. Um, um. One type of weapon I'm particularly keen to take a closer look at. I'll try to abridge it. But if you bring me one. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> it's the same as Fido. Um, what do you want? A Mistral Spear of Grade 6 or yeah. higher. Do we have one? No, we do not. Okay. Oh, no, this is slightly different. Newbie, oh, we just suggested to Newbie that maybe we can find someone to help him. Well, I'm sure it is. There are all sorts of people out there in the world, Newbie. Hmm. Actually, I do recall Bracken mentioning that there was someone in Broadleaf who knew a great deal about weapons. Nice. Oh really? Then that sounds like a good place to start. If I, I'll see if I can track them down. I'll be back before long, newbie. All right, this is recruit a weapons expert from the factory floors. Hi, 
Okay, so let's go for Crispin. This is the guy we got for like for crafting 25 different things. Hello there, King Evan. Hello. Oh, Crispin, are you growing accustomed to life here in Evermore yet? Oh yes, I've taken to it like a duck to water. Though I have to say, I do still miss Capstan. Mm -hmm. Well, that's no surprise. It's a lovely place. Yeah. Really is. And in speaking of Capstan, my old friend Catch has asked me to make him some shoes. Gosh. I find it quite hard to imagine him anything with a, with anything on his feet. Well, he told me that he had never had any interest in footwear before coming here. But after seeing the kinds of styles people were wearing in Evermore, he started to feel a little envious. It's quite an honor, you know, making someone's first ever pair of shoes. Mm. I can imagine, especially when it's for a friend. Mm. Exactly. Catch and I grew really rather close during my time in Capstan. I've... I have been lost without him, it's fair to say. That's why I want to make him the very best shoes that I can. I want him to be the talk of the town, in fact. Now I have the design in mind. Let me guess, you just need... I'm missing chic ribbon! I, I am missing those ribbons. I don't even know where to get that. Well, mm -hmm. uh, we'll accept it, but we don't have any... And you want five pieces of it? I can't. I really can't. <laughs> um... I think there's one more on in an Evermore, I guess. I'm sorry if this episode is kind of all over the place, but this is basically the episode of what happens when I'm trying to clear stuff behind me. You know what I mean? Before we get ah. stuck into the story for a bit too long again. It's been a moment, Evan lad. Another letter's comfy. This one's wrapped around with a Naru too. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's him again. <laughs> Couldn't be, she's been giving me some training and can pluck an arrow right on, out of the air now. <sighs> That's certainly good to hear. Now let's see what this letter says. Dear Mr. Imposter, nice kingdom, mate. Me and me boys snuck in and had a look around. Everyone seems well happy and they've all got jobs. And I even dropped me wallet and some bloke gave it right back to me. In fact, it's so nice, I reckon I'm gonna have to pinch it off here. So luck out, little kitty. I'm coming for you, and I'm coming mob-handed this time. So yeah, don't stand a chance. Love and kisses, Tyrion, the real king of the Heartlands. What? Tyrion's going to attack us again? Such a shame. I was actually thinking of inviting him to show him that it's possible to live in peace. I can't very well do that now. <laughs> Inviting the swab here indeed. Anybody think you'd gone soft in the head, lad? What are ye, looking to befriend the murderous rogue? Ugh. Oh no, I jest. Don't be mean, Chingus. <laughs> Twas merely a jest, lad. Don't me take it to heart. There's a watch post outside of town here. Get out there and make us proud. All right. I'll head there right away. All right. Uh, so basically that's how I... Yeah, see, it's Tyrion forevermore. Um, that's basically how I got the fight where there was only a 1v1 between my hammers and him. So, he basically shoots arrow arrow messages at Chingus and, you know. <laughs> and then he, and then we, we go out to fight him, I guess. So is that all forevermore? Yes, that is all forevermore. Um, just for, just for certainty sake so that I don't miss anything sky pirates base does anyone of you want to join me no yep all right none on the sky pirates base and the other unlikely portion that you usually don't see is the forest of neal because there's some neutral people here but you know some of them might want to join and nope all right, nobody, nobody. Okay. So that means my next place to check is Gold Paw. And there is one. And then after after we talk to this one guy, I think I'll check the task board again, but let's start here. Hey, cheerful woman. You there, please, you must help me. I have lost my purse. Is it that shiny thing at your feet? I don't seem to find it anywhere. I would go and look for it, of course, but I'm needed here. And I'm not permitted to leave my post. Oh dear, why do you remember having it last? Um, 
Well, it's part of the problem. My memory is really rather terrible these days. I have no idea where I last saw it. Ricky! We're best off not getting involved in this one, Evan, man. Some people just can't be helped. True. Excuse me. But we have to do something, Lofty. She's lost her purse. Imagine how awful that must be. All right, let's for let's forget about where you last saw it. Can you start by telling us everywhere you've been today? Yeah. Hmm, let me think. Ah, yes, I went to the casino, and while I was there, I met a dog who lives in my neighborhood. He told me he was worried about eating too much and getting fat, but as far as I'm concerned, he if anything, he's too thin. And I do keep telling him you're far too thin, I say, but he never listens. I do worry that one day he will waste away altogether. Mm. Right, yes, and after the casino, did you come straight here? No, no, after the casino, I went to do some shopping at the Lucky Lotus, and then after that... <sighs> ah, yes, I bumped into an old friend of mine. Holy crap. She has moved away from Gold Paw and was just back visiting. We talked about various things for a little while, and then we walked back here together. Then my friend left, and the next thing I knew, my purse was missing. I really have no idea where it could be. Mm. Lucky Lotus was the last place you used it. All right. Got it, got it. Or it might be with that friend. Oh, just a cough sweet. Okay, you're not worth it right now. You're not a citizen. But the thing with sweets is it permanently increases your stats by one. So I think a cough sweet is... Magic resist, I think. So if you eat a cough sweet, it's plus one mag magress. But... At the same time, you can get ra a random piece of candy from the weird Higgledy guy. Like, the guy pretending to be a Higgledy. <laughs> For 10 pebbles. So, every time you pick up a pebble from a shiny thing... Let's see if this is a pebble. No, it's a pickled pepper. But every time you pick up a uh, pebble from those things, it, it's actually not all that bad. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Take on tasks, and we are full up again. What about citizens? Let's start with citizens first. If there are any. Should be, right? Oh, there are two. Hydropolis and Broadleaf. Oh, candy. An ability to talk to the little ones that can help boost in the higgledy. Finally, a higgledy person. A closest with the sea that can boost the fish market's productivity. More! Nice, nice, nice. These are all people I need. Um, okay, so those guys are up for oh, a montage. <laughs> so everyone from the Taskmaster is montaged because, you know, I think... I think reading everything straight out is just gonna take forever. I mean, even reading these normal side quests, you know, you can kind of hear me rushing through it. Anyway, uh... I'll check one last time in this area to see if... Actually, no, let's check the... Yeah, oh god, it was already here. <laughs> well, might as, might as well just fly to it and then go back down. <laughs> this is literally the equivalent of taking an elevator one floor. Anyway... <laughs> Cradle of Creation. So this is different from the Kingsmaker, Kingmaker one, right? The words carved into the stone explain that the Oakenheart, Kingmaker of Ding Dong Dell, is enshrined here. Oh, this is where Oakenheart is, huh? And I guess we can't do anything about that right now. Maybe when we confront Ding Dong Dell finally. So the only one I haven't really gone into is this one. Hey. Oh, this is this is Ding Dong Dell. Yeah, you can't hey. drop here. So okay, so we've basically cleared. This area, because um, over here is clear, up here, not... Okay, no, I haven't cleared up there. But if you go here to the Nogo Plateau, there's a Tainted over there that I didn't challenge so far. And everything down here I've already gotten, so... I think more or less, at the very least, the rolling hills are done. Um, I'll just check in this tumble down shrine. I think I finished this. Yeah, I did. Okay. Wait, what is behind him? Oh, it's a higgledy stone. Alright, so I guess we'll leave it there for now. I mean, I don't think there's any point in me showing every single treasure chest and every new uh, plateau thing that this uh, zip... What do you call it? Zep Ziplin can get to. 
So I'll just be doing that off camera and I'll see you guys when I find other interesting things around the map. But most likely next episode, let's see what Leander is about to spill on. Probably a traitor among us or something, right? So if you want to see that, leave a like and subscribe for more. This has been Caffeinified Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.